Okay, well, we're here at uh, the uh, Ham Fest uh, at Newark uh, 2019, and we've got uh, Eric, uh, co founder of Ellicraft, the WA6HHQ, who's flown specially over with something which we've been waiting for for a long time the K4. So, we've done a video down at Portsmouth which gives you in-depth uh, description of the uh, K4 and I would uh, encourage you to listen to that video. But here at uh, the Hamfest here we just do a quick summary of the main features of the K4. So Gary, over to you. Thank you Peter, thanks for being with me here and right. uh, enjoying ourselves over here. First time in several years that we've been back. Yeah, too, so right. been yeah. So yeah we have this uh, now getting ready to go into production and we're uh, ramping up and getting the production going here and hopefully we'll start delivering in the U.S. in the end of the year and then over here in March, April time frame hopefully everything goes well. Maybe even sooner, who knows, but uh, yeah. don't want to over promise. <laughs> no, it's, uh, no, it's doing very well. K4, uh, for those who haven't uh, seen it, is a direct sampling uh, transceiver, um, full high speed 16-bit uh, A-to-D converter. Two receivers built in in the radio. Uh, your ability to uh, listen both on the same band and, and two receivers, but also uh, different bands is built in. Yeah. And we've also got um, the ability to upgrade actually from three different models: K4, K4D, and K4HD. K4 right. base K4 has the single analog digital converter. You can listen to two frequencies at the yeah. same time, either. Uh, basically on one antenna. Yeah. Uh, if you go to the K4D, it adds a second antenna path, so you can do diversity reception, uh, listening to uh, two antennas oriented slightly differently on the same frequency, or of course, uh, different bands uh, with optimized antennas on the same band. So typical uh, aircraft uh, uh, tradition, you build up to what you want. Yes. Yeah. And you can, by the way, when you go between these modules, it's, it's, you can even add, after the fact, an upgrade from a K4 to a K4D or right. a K4 to an HD. Yeah. HD adds a additional 10 dB of blocking dynamic range for the, uh, the, the expeditions that have several stations in the same band close to each other, right. you know, a couple hundred meters apart. Uh, that covers the extreme cases. For the rest of us, a 130 dB of blocking dynamic range on the other two radios is way more than that. Um, so you get this ability to go up as you go, and of course our software is always available for download. We don't charge for that, so that's, that's a great yeah, new feature. Yeah. Sometimes a new radio every month during the first year, yeah, that's new feature yeah. to it. That's a good thing, really, Clark. You can update it uh, yes. as it goes along. As people get ideas, I guess, and they say to you, look, what about this? And you think, well, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, so we, you know, we yeah. get uh, great suggestions at these shows, but also um, off the internet, yeah. and so we always have our list of the next favorite things we're not talking about. They're always going to be a surprise, yeah. but uh, occasionally <laughs> we'll talk about them. But uh, it, it's been exciting. One, one upgrade I didn't mention. Also, we'll have actually two things uh, towards the end of this next year. Um, we're bringing out there's a provision inside here for a VHF UHF module. Yeah. Uh, so initially two meters and seventy centimeters. Um, it'd be nice. I'm not going to guarantee or announce that we can get a third band in there. We might do something like uh, four meters. That would be that would be, be nice yeah. addition. Too. <laughs> and um, also. Uh, for our remote operation, you know, the remote is built into the K4, uh, all, all the K4 models. We basically, uh, over Ethernet, have full control of the radio. Right. Um, you can have, actually right today, you can out of the box, one K4 control. Now that we had that at Dayton, two yeah. side by side, one with the signals coming in like this, and the other one just had an Ethernet cable plugged in. Right. With the streaming data on the, uh, on the screen, you couldn't tell. And the yeah. person over here would be controlling the radio, and of course the guy over here on the left <laughs> would see it going the other direction. He goes, what's going on? And yeah. he didn't realize he was being controlled. I didn't bring the second radio here, but I actually have this tablet doing the same thing, running just as a demonstration, the same right. software. And this is coming over Wi-Fi, so you can see the responsiveness as I turn the dial. Frequency yeah. is following. Yeah. I can even touch on this screen, remove the frequency, and fine-tune it just as we do on the main screen. So right. Yeah, so. Nice little setup. So we've been refining the remote control port. We also now support the external uh, K-Pod knob that we uh, oh, sell yes, for the K3. Mm -hmm. That has a USB jack, which goes to one of the USB connections on the back here. And that gives you the ability, for instance, to take VFOB, which is normally up here, and have it down below here. Right. And you can even have two of them plugged in, VFOA and VFOB, on the table next to your keyboard and so on. So right. we've been adding features like that all the way, and, and it's, uh, it's made it more interesting for yeah. people, too. Yeah. Good, good. Okay. Well, I should explain that although we've got a K4 here, this K4 is not staying here. This will be on a plane tomorrow morning, <laughs> heading back to California um, with uh, with Eric. I'll be sleeping with it right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the question you're going to ask is when will we see the K4? Well, we're talking about probably spring next year. May, uh, April is is uh, is a good uh, target date, I think. Yes. Um, it'll be released in the U.S. Um, shortly after uh, Christmas uh, to, uh, 2020. 
and um, that uh, will then enable uh, Ellicraft to get the CE certification which they need for Europe. Um, but it's, uh, it's looking really good and Eric, I really am pleased you've come all this way all those miles to show us the K4. It's just a shame you've got to take it back. But there we are. Well, we'll Thanks try to get you one early so <laughs> you can show it off here too. Thanks a lot. Okay.